given that there doesn't appear to be any imminent danger in terms of death clouds or folly fucks, that the usefulness of my feather fall has about reached its end. And indeed, we will exit turn-based mode. Very well. We will save. I think I hit the quick save button as the game was hitting the auto save button, which is terrifying. Just absolutely terrifying. Hi there. Are you, um, are you caged and trapped by a hag lady? You appear to be caged and trapped by a hag lady. Can someone please? I spotted a trap. Move with purpose. Thank you. Hey, Astarian, can you disarm this? No, I wanted, I wanted Astarian to do that. I clicked Astarian. What now? There you go. Astarian, disarm this. Cause you're, you know, better at it than I am. Yeah, he's got D20 plus eight. That's mm, good. Ooh. Now it's DC 10 and he rolled a 16, so might not have actually mattered, but still. Can't give up now. Hey, um, Mariella or whatever your name is. Manana? Hey, Manana. Best be on my way. Manana, are you okay? You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! Yeah. I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll use your blood to spice my stew. Well, it's not very I'll spicy. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. It's Just get threat. out of here, please. It's a good threat. And yeah. You want the girl so bad. Uh oh. That girl hasn't got long. If you plan to save her. Okay. So. Oh boy. Um. Well. Okay. So hags trickery is just there's a bunch of different hags, right? Okay. Uh, one of these hags is not like the others. One of these hags is the actual fucking hag. Can you tell which hag is not like the... Hey, what's that? A sylvan stone. Ooh. You know, I do still have a jug of water. C can we just huck some water at the... You know, it's not a bad idea. Hey, um... Come on. Hey, Celeste. Let's see here. We've got we've got water. I've got a carafe of water in here somewhere, right? Okay. If I if I huck this, uh, death. What? What do you mean death? What do you mean death? Game. Why are we saying death? Why are we saying death to some of these things? Are, are, if we. Game, why are we saying death? I'm very concerned about the possibility of death. Does that mean like death of the item? Death of the author? Death of um the NPC we're trying to save? Good idea. What? I think. What are we what death are we debating? Okay, so when I was when I was lining up to throw the jug of water on the cage. Mm -hmm. Some of the things it just said 100% chance, but also death. Now, fortunately, well, yeah, because if you hit the cage, um, it might take damage, and if it falls apart, 
Yeah, if, it, if the cage falls apart, the chick dies. Okay, well, yeah. the good news is we saved, we, we didn't do that. We, we dumped water all over the cage, and now the cage is out somehow. The bad news is there's, uh, well, she's cast a very fancy form of mirror image, basically. Mm -hmm. Which is not great. No. Um, not great. The good news is... Haven't quite figured out the good news yet, but I'm going to switch to my crossbow and do bonus action oil of goodness on the crossbow so that it rolls better. There. And honestly, for Celeste, I think that might just be turn. Shall we cut and run? Good job, Celeste. Now, Astarian. Uh, if you were to bonus action dash, I mean, you've got all the movement in the fucking world on account of your uh, momentum. So, we can at least start eliminating some options. Uh, cunning action dash. Bingo, bango, bongo. And, hey, listen, there's one hag that you can definitely get to, so let's find out if it's a real hag, shall we? Let's move. This is great. I'm just going to have the rogue charge headlong into what might be the fucking hag. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, I'll be I, fine. I, I see no problems with this. Uh, you. Uh, oh, well, now that you're adjacent, yeah, there's no chance here. But, um, here, you can you can take a main hand attack. 45% chance to hit. Great. <laughs> okay. Hey, good news. We know that that's not the hag. That well is done. good news. Say what? That is good news. That is good Sorry. news. Sorry, I, I pushed my mic away. No, I just didn't hear you. Uh, Starion is quite done. He's a shot. And now, oh boy, Gale, friend to all, sort of. Get um, get over this way. What do you have for spells, huh? You've got Witch Bolt. Witch Bolt is good. Uh, is anybody in range of a, of a good old Witch Boltening? 50% uh, chance, high defense. Okay. Uh, you could theoretically hit that one, maybe. Or uh, we don't really want a Thunder Wave. We could Magic Missile. Shoot three magical darts, each dealing two to five force damage. I mean, listen, that's a great way to knock out at least... Uh, at least one of these, right? Hundo P, and then can we, oh, we can't quite get to, ah, damn it. All right, you know what? I wanna be very judicious with my spell slots with Gale on account of him not having very many of them. So, I do like the idea of using magic missile to suss out which hag is which, but there's nothing saying we gotta do that right now. Instead, let me use a fire bolt and take a huck shot at, uh, yeah, I can't actually hit this one. So let's take a 50% chance of hitting this one. And it missed. Okay. Time to strike. Good job, Gale. Next. Lazel. You don't really have over much that you can do. All right, fine. You, you know what? You're going to use your action to dash and just get closer to shit. Wait a second. Triple a creature's jumping distance. Hold that thought. Triple a creature's jumping distance, you say? I'm sorry, triple a creature's jumping distance, you say? Oh yeah, the Githyanki are actually really cool. That doesn't seem like the worst idea I've ever heard. It's not. What if, um, you were to triple your jumping distance? And then just jump, say, Right the fuck here. Mm. 
amazing. <laughs> now, there's the small matter that she's surrounded by death. And it's about to not be any of our turns. But, on the other hand, she's got 35 hit points. This is probably fine. She's gonna be okay for a hot second, probably. Mayrina, can you do something? Please? Anything? Oh, Gale saved against Ray of Sickness. Oh, you missed Ray of Sickness on Starion. Fuck you. Oh, and that one's casting Hold Person. Okay, now. On Celeste, no less. Well. Battle of Wits. Unacceptable. Unacceptable just from a broad manner of speaking. Now, Gale. Get over here. Indeed. So that you're as close as can possibly be to hopefully magically missile all three of these fuckers. And now <laughs> we know which one's wheel and this one succeeded on a save. But you know, details. Time for a cull. Magic Mistle. Good fucking spell. Uh, Starion. Good fucking friend. Now, you need to. God, I want that lady to shut up. You cannot actually do anything. You cannot actually get there this turn, right? No. So, you would need to bonus action dash or take a 55% mm, chance to hit. I don't like that. All right. Let's do bonus action dash to get over here. Bonus action bite to bite. And then, cr and then uh, try to sneak attack her. I can do all of that, right? Yeah, that's two bonus actions in an action. I'm a Starian. I have two bonus actions in an action. So we're gonna take a bonus action, and we're gonna take some movement. Get way the hell over here. Do 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 like so, and then we're gonna bonus action, bite her fucking spine out, which is another chance for her to succeed on her con save. Which listen, she did save, but we gotta try. And now. Uh, because you have Lazelle within stabbing distance, I can sneak attack you if this hits. Which it did! And your concentration broke, so Celeste no, gets a turn! Fuck me. yes! <laughs> Let's ignore the fact that I've hit her... Well, I've only hit her once, I guess. I, the magic missile plinked at her, but... Eh, uh, you know, it'll basically be fine. Well, so it's much for peace. probably basically fine. Uh, Celeste needs to take a good hard look in the mirror and decide what the hell we're doing with our life. No, you need to uh, gently suggest the possibility of... Oh, heroism is melee, huh? Well, that's bad. Make yourself or a target immune to frightened and gain five temporary hit points each turn. I mean, that's good. What if... Uh, 35% chance on Tasha's. That's not great. What about... 35% against Ethel is actually pretty good, honestly, because, like, given the type of enemy that she is. For a spell like, save, gonna, yeah. Yeah, like, she's gonna have a hiding paper. Blindness. That, you know what? I think making her blind is worth taking a shot. Breathe deep and move. The other thing I could possibly do is save my second level spell slot to upcast either uh -huh. healing word or cure wounds. True, yeah. But potions exist. So let's try this. Yeah, if we can make her blind. Like, okay, sleep's not gonna work. She's got too many hit points. Oh, this is she's also Fae. 
and either like gets advantage to save against sleep or can't be put to sleep, something like that. It's, I don't know if it's possible. Well, there's a 45% chance that she's blind now. She's blind now. Which is fucking amazing. Uh, I couldn't have tried that any earlier than I did because Celeste was held, so I don't feel bad about that. Uh, does Celeste have anything in terms of a bonus action that she could do? Uh, I could theoretically... I guess I could drink a potion of haste. Uh, how many potions of speed do I have? I have three potions of speed. Oh yeah, use that shit. Yeah! Yeah. I always give those to my fighters, just because, like... Sometimes if you do it on, like, a more dexy character, mm -hmm. um, you're really not, like, getting a ton out of it because you can only sneak attack damage once. That's true. Although, like, at higher levels, like, with better equipment, it's different, but... Gaping wounds? Ooh, gaping wounds. I don't mind gaping wounds. <laughs> and I have advantage to hit you because you're blind. So screw you. Huzzah! Okay. That may well go down in history as one of the better turns in the history of the universe. Uh, Starion has nothing else to do and should have been off turn already. Gale has a bonus action and is down nine hit points. I wonder whatever I'll freaking do. Beautiful, beautiful hit points for Gale. Victory awaits. All right, Lazelle. You uh, could take a goading attack. That's probably good. Um, just to make her swing on you rather than try to fuck around with her magic shit? That seems imminently reasonable. Let us goadedly attack you. Uh, you missed. Okay. Well, fine. I guess. Uh, you, uh, famous last words. I don't think I need to use second wind right now. Let's, uh, daze them? Dazing sounds good. Daze is disadvantage on wisdom saves. Can't take reaction. And, okay, that's tremendous. That's super awesome. Is it gonna work? I don't know, maybe. It totally didn't. But hey, we got three damage even on a turn where you missed an attack, so that's happy. Marina, please do something. Other than cower. Don't let the old me have it. Wait a second. So it appears as though our friend the hag has poofed Mayrina out of the thing and haw. Huh. Okay, well what fools these mortals be. Good news. I still have magic fucking missile. Like. Okay, so. She poofed Marina out of the thing and may or may not have changed places with her, right? Right. But. The only way we learned that is by. Hmm. Do I think she actually did? I kind of don't. I kind of think she's still right here. Mostly because, well, there is, there is a clear and obvious way to get up there. So the game might put her up there. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I have an idea. Shall we dance? Astarian is somehow not threatened. 
So if Astarian takes a bonus action, I can go over here and deal with this uh, with this magic rock. Which seems like a thing that we should do somehow. Can I just attack this magic rock? I, I mean, I guess you can just attack anything. I can. You know. This feels I like mean, the kind of thing that I either need to uh, destroy via hit points, destroy via magic, or dislodge via magic and thievery. I I think that's just a rock. I think it's a like a it's a crafting material, so it's just like a thing oh. to pick up in the environment. I wonder if you I like. I thought it was like the out... source of her power. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, right now, I can t Here's the thing. If you move out of her threat, she might do something. The game doesn't say that moving out of her oh. threat provokes an attack. Oh, like, it doesn't even offer the possibility. Mayrina is human, um, which means she might be vulnerable to sleep. Mistra Rill. Hmm. You know what she doesn't have? Hmm. 24 hit points. Yeah. This game is so fucking smart. Both of these targets are showing up as Marina with 8 hit points. So just pick one. Why should I pick one? Oh shit, that's right. If I can do... Ah. This is even better than Magic Missile. Oh, that's it, sick. No damage to Mayrita. <laughs> oh, oh, we make a good team. Fuck you, the hag. God, what if Mayrina saves against Gale? That would be the most embarrassing thing, wouldn't it? It would be funny. They're both asleep. <gasps> oh shit. This game is so fucking smart! Oh my god. Wow. Wow, she really committed to the bit. And you know... I mean... Here's the I, thing now. If yeah. I pick wrong, I coup de yeah. Marina. And yep. if I pick right, I don't crit the hag. I guarantee you. Oh! This... Bitch! <laughs> She's so good. Oh my god, I hate this lady. Alright, um... Well, shit, what do I do now? I wish I had magic missile instead. <laughs> um, yeah, a D4. I guess if I picked really wrong with magic missile, I would have been throwing two D4 plus two damage uh, at something uh -huh. that has eight hit points. Yeah. Which is dangerous. Oh, boy. Okay. Do I have any way of... I mean, it could just turn on non-lethal damage. Yeah. But well, there's your fucking answer, isn't it? You just gotta make sure that you're bonking her with your uh, melee weapon. Mm-hmm. And ease. not throwing things at her head. <laughs> I will ascend. Lazel. Non-lethal attacks, please. God, it would be fucking funny if the hag is just like, yeah, I'll take non-lethal damage in order to maintain this illusion. Oh, Ga maybe you can put her to sleep. She doesn't have enough hit points to be put to sleep. Oh, I bet that's gonna stick until her next turn. I bet that's a lie. Is what I bet. I don't know. Maybe have a Starian just scramble up there yeah, I mean, and stab yeah. her. The, the correct thing is, yeah, a Starian get up there and crit her. 
but uh, I bet that's just the game lying. Also, Ghosty is correct. I should have done one damage rather than non-lethally have Lazelle bonker, but... It's okay. She's still alive. It's fine. She is, in fact, still alive. It is probably fine. Uh, especially if I have Celeste wake her the fuck up. Although, uh, that might be okay. We'll see if she gets mad that I hit her. Hopefully she doesn't. Uh, let's turn these off now that we know who's who. <laughs> At least give her a little heal. Uh, Starion. Buddy old pal, old friend of mine. Hundred percent chance to critical hit. I don't believe you, video game. I think you're lying to me. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay! <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> this actually, like... I guess it's the hag playing herself? <laughs> she worked herself into a shoot, brother! She committed to the bit too hard. Oh god. All right. Um Yeah, fuck it. Let's try to take a flourish. You missed. Good job. Well, might as well stab her. Hey, you stabbed her. Huzzah. Good turn, Astarian. Nothing will stand in my way. All right. Uh Celeste still has one and exactly one level one spell slot, which is possibly gonna just be spent. We'll see. Uh, you might hang on to it even. Uh, deals three, 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 that's gonna explode and do acid damage to a Starian. Don't want that. Uh, that's gonna deal additional two, that's gonna do cold damage to a Starian. Don't want that. Um, all of these scrolls are just various. Scrolls of fuckery. Uh, scroll of blindness is 45% chance of being blinded. It's fine. Um, you know, what about just good old fashioned uh, ring get attacks? Now, you do have, yeah, you have the high ground, so it's only a 40% chance to hit, is the thing. Hmm. Arrow of fire is going to blow up and do fire damage. All of these things are bad. What if you... Can, can you, like, run over... Hmm. There's no way to get, like... What's your range? Can you just... Yeah. Okay, so if you were... If Celeste was up here, she would not be within range to hit this hag. So, I think what we're gonna have to do, as unfortunate as it may be, is... I'm gonna take an action to dash, and dash up to here. Having done that, we're going to... Yeah, I'm going to dash myself right over to here. And now... Now that I'm within melee of you, I kind of want to... Do I want to do heroism on either myself or Astarian? Does that seem stupid? That kind of seems like it might be stupid. I mean, do you need to? You have all of your hit point. I do. Because what, what is heroism? Her Keeps you from being frightened or charmed? Heroism is immune to frightened and gain mm. five temporary hit points each turn. Yeah, I don't... I... If it makes you feel safer, go for it. Mm, it doesn't, actually. Because... 
I'm gonna want the spell slot more for healing someone, I think. Let's just take a slash. Oh, hey! Got momentum and bleeding and lightning charge. Amazing, good turn, Celeste. I don't fancy their chances. Now then, Gale. Gale, 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 Gale. You have already taken your action this turn, so only for you, really. What do you have for bonus actions? Mm, fuck all. Okay. Uh, and you've already moved, so great Time turn. To strike. Lazel. Lazel, Lazel, Make Lazel. Way. Can you get up here? You can't get up here at all. Awesome. Well, why don't you rally a Starion then? That seems... You can't rally anyone. Rally Gale. Because you can't actually see those people, so... Good turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. God! Lady! Hold on, is she invisible? Is she oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no, I guess not. There's just five of her. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't help but notice that four of her have already acted. One of her doesn't have a... Huh. Oh, yeah. One of her's invisible. Wait, she... So she created four fake duplicates and we know that the real her is invisible? Oh, yeah. She does that. <laughs> I see. The problem is that, like, one, you don't know where she is invisible. And two, all of her duplicates can cast the same spells that she does. So it's not so much about finding out which one is real. As it is popping the... As it is whacking the moles. The witching hour. Yeah. Okay, well, good news, we have Magic Missile. Hi, Gale. This is what you're doing this fight. You're just magically missling some Magic Missile dudes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can, you have plenty of movement to, say, get a little bit more this way. Step by step. And now, uh, where did it go? There did it go, Magic Missile. Uh, one for you, and one for you. And one for you. Poof, poof, poof. Go the fuck away, comma, fuckers. Okay, Gail. Um, hey, you know what? Celeste has a potion that Celeste is never gonna use. It's a potion of get back a spell slot. You remember my potion of get back a spell slot, don't you? Elixir of Arcane Cultivation gain an additional level one spell slot. Ahem. Behold. Potion of get back a spell slot. Yay. Okay. The good news is the hag is almost fucking dead. True. The better news is by the time it comes round to her turn, she's going to have to reveal herself in order to do anything. Probably, hopefully, maybe we'll see. Oh, Gail, Let's good turn. Some blood. Let's see here. Astarian, can you get over there? Absolutely. Celeste, can you uh, rangely shoot? This fuck you have target outside normal range. Well, piss pants then. Um, <laughs> I am fury. I am death. Great. Lazel, can, you, way to put it. <laughs> Lazel, can you move over here and just huck a dagger at On that guy? I feel like dagger hucking is the order of the day now. Here, take um throw a dagger. At the fucker. 50% chance. Great. Taking position. You missed. Not Astonishing. great. Astonishing. I'm ready. Good job. 
Uh, Starian. You have a 30% chance because that thing's far away. Okay, fine. What if... What if you were to... Bonus action dash. Because you're a rouge. You can do this sort of thing. Bonus action dash. Get up in his grill. And just... Uh, this is definitely not the hag, so don't even burn your sneak attack. Just, just get over here and slash at it. Pretty Sounds please. like fun. Stab! You missed. Wait, how'd you miss twice? He had bonus action stab again, and they were no. I meant like with incredulity. Oh, <laughs> why? They were both 45% to hit. Missed two coin flips. I was shading a starian. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, uh, Celeste. The good news is you have, wow, you have plenty of move. Holy shit. Oh, that's right, you're still hasty. Oh, shit. I forgot you were still hasty. Uh, why don't you come over like here-ish, say. Have to keep going. It's gonna be a problem in a turn or two when you're exhausted, but you know, that's a problem for future me. Take a ranged attack at this uh, task bird. Fucking miss. Amazing. Do it again. <laughs> Great. So we have just barely managed to eliminate all of the hag's fuckery, except for the fact that the hag is invisible and we have no idea where she is. If you set aside that minor problem, everything's fine. Yeah. Oh wait, there she is. No, that's a, uh... oh hey. There she is. Did you? Did she you must have hit her with something. I think she just came back when I killed all of her mooks. Oh, well, yeah, possibly. All right, well, uh, hey, Celeste, get back up here and claim the high ground, would you? <clears throat> if you come anywhere near me, I'll fucking murder you. Astarian, do you have anything? I mean, she's over there. Engage pincer attack, I guess. Good turn, Astarian. Hi, Auntie Ethel. So desperate to be special. Ah! Gale's on fire. That's bad for Gale. I am going to make a suggestion, and okay. it's going to sound insane. What is However, that? I am going to suggest that you skip your turns and just let Ethel do whatever she's going to do. Trust me, right? No. Oh, I come really on! Don't. I'm not the one who fucked you over today. That was ghosty. <laughs> yes. I... Mm. I have been actively telling you not to get yourself killed. You have, and yet I have prece proceeded to regularly okay, get myself right. killed. That's true. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. Mm -hmm. uh, hit F5 right now. Hit F5 right now. Yes. Uh -huh. I have F'd five. When it's done saving, just skip all your turns. I'm totally serious. Okay. And then if it if the thing doesn't happen the way that I think it does, then Another reload and you kill it. Oh, come on. Is she not down far enough? Fuck you, bitch. All right, well, hit it <laughs> one more time and then skip your turn. <laughs> when she gets to a low enough health, she does something wacky. She's gonna get to zero health. Although, Mayrina being unconscious may have may have stopped her from doing the thing that she does here. Ah. Or maybe it pissed her off. I don't know. Eh, Usually, well. when she gets down to like ten percent health, she does something. But I can't tell because I can't see what her her actual numbers are. Her no. bar is very low. I don't know if that's ten yeah. percent, but it's very low. Yeah. Oh, she it's also even, just it's has even a... broken up into one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's broken She's... up into like 
13 chunks, so. Yeah, and she's she's pretty beefy, especially for the level that you're at. She is. She's like a level five. So I I guess we'll see if she still does it. We shall indeed. Um, Is there anything better I, here than just magic missling her, honestly? Not really. It, it's a free six to 15 damage. It's, yeah, I could get I up really, in Thunder Waver, but no. Yeah. I really thought that she had un invisible herself so she could talk to you. Nope. But I guess not. Nope. Yeah. At least not yet. No, she just, she just wants to die today. That's okay. I respect that. All right. So Gale hit her for nine. She's probably got somewhere between 10 and 15 left. I think oh. that I, I also, Gale's keep on like... Fire, so. I, it's baby, man. He's fine. I, I guess make him stand somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, you might want to be, uh... Yeah. Pawn to Cleric 4. Yeah, I think I've also been a little overly cautious, uh, because I haven't played on balance in a long time. Um, and I forget that I don't play on normal difficulties. So that... So I keep being like, no, you'll die. Um, like, no, you'll be fine. I, I will indeed be fine. Likely. Uh, Astarian is going to need to dash to get over here. And even with dash, you're still only so movementy. So you can't actually get that far. You might not be able to do anything this turn, Astarian. And that's annoying. Run that away. Uh, yeah, you can't even take a terrible shot at her. Great. What else do you have? You have potions, which you shouldn't bother using because you're at full health. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, can you huck a firebolt at her? Is she... Nope, she's not even within range of that. Okay. Uh, oh! At some point, I should have noticed this control orb. Maybe that's oh, yeah, just that a control for this thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good. This had damn well better be a Skyrim door, but we'll get there later. Uh, good turn, Astarian. I am fury. I am uh, That is not a Skyrim door, but there is one past it. Good. So you don't have to go worry about going back up through the poison. Yeah, absolutely not a thing that's going to happen. Uh... I kind of feel dumb making everybody walk through the fire, but where else can I turn? Make way. You come over this way and pop a uh, rally on uh, Gale because he's on fire. That's a good idea. Good turn. Wait! Oh, wait ah, there she kid. goes. Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. Don't believe you. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. What's that? Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna tell you about this because it's not like super intuitive, but I also like want you to get stuff out of it. Um. You can do this thing and then also still fuck her up. Oh, that was the plan. Yeah, okay, then go for it. Have fun. I knew I liked you, dearie. I can give you power. Anything you want. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter. Done. Just let me go. Another deception. Take her head. What'll it be, Petal? Uh, I, listen, power? Power sounds wonderful. A wise choice. Here. Gross. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Uh, yeah, best oh, of luck. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, shit, I guess you can't. Well, there you go. That's all right. Shoot. I figured that as soon oh. as we're out of this dialogue, I'm going to chop her head off. Maybe, but uh, she's missing a chunk. Oh, I think it's because the game is treating it as if my rain is dead. Hmm. 
Alex to lock. It's only the deal that counts. Bye bye, Peggy. Is she gonna proof? She might have proofed. Ah, damn. Because the last oh, time I did it, the sunset can't I was able to bully her into giving me everything, and then she got mad and <laughs> dabbed her. But that might not fire if, if the game is treating Marina as dead. I see. Well, we However, learned, it's... We learned a yeah. thing about dealing with hacks. There you go. Gail, can you put oh. yourself out, please? Anytime now? If you did that as an Oath of the Ancients paladin, you... Oh. You Letting what? her go would have been... You would have broken your oath as a, a certain kind of paladin. Yeah. For letting her go. Bad. Yeah, but this is like... This is such an insane boost that it's worth just taking. Um, well, it's a plus one to something. So sometimes I know that there are certain dialogue trees where you can bully her to giving you the hair. I know there's at least one where you can get the hair from her and then attack her again anyway. But I think Marina has to be involved. Um, and I guess the game treats knocking her out like she's dead. Hmm. Because you can't help her back up. I, I guess you could try to... I have a confession. Oh, no. I was too go. hasty to judge you. Yay! I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. But now that I've uh, fucked over an innocent girl and murdered her family to deal with a hag, you think I'm awesome, right? Right? Sort I don't of. pay compliments. I only say what is true. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, dominant, courageous. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. Sounds like You've an idea. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat, and my hair stand on end. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is certainly a compliment. <laughs> Let's drag that out of her a little bit more. Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps okay. later. But I want it all the same. <laughs> Ella Cusseless just narrows her eyes. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, does this conversation play out any differently if Shadowheart's in the party? Because... Uh, no, because you haven't, um, you don't really have reactivity for jealousy yet, uh, because you haven't gotten to, like, the lock-in point. So you can do this and still hook up with Shadowheart in the long run. I believe it feels wrong. <laughs> it feels Only a little bit. wrong. Your loss, I feel. And define wrong. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Listen, we're gonna go back to camp and I'm gonna have a conversation with my goth girlfriend, and then we might or might not approach you and say that we saw you from across the bar and we like your vibe. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And if you want to catch the streams live, go to twitch.tv slash the underscore goog. The stream schedule's on screen now. Wow.